Oh, two beautiful liters of water. And let's put the honey. Beautiful honey. Mmm, smells nice. So what do you think I'm doing here? It's melted nice. Hello everybody, welcome to La Cucina, I'm your host Pasquale. So today we're making meat, hydromel. It's a lighter version of meat and it's made by water, honey and yeast. That's all you need. And now I have the water, I made it nice and hot almost to a boil, like 170 degrees. And uh, that's it, I melted all the honey. And what we're gonna do now, after the honey is really melted well into the water, I'm going to uh, let it cool off and then put it into the fermentator. And then I'm gonna add the yeast. And that's it, that's about it. And we're gonna put them in, uh, you know, in a nice place, which is the garage. And uh, we start the fermentation. I'll see you in a little while. Ciao. Okay, so we came back into the garage because uh, my wife is frying inside over there. So I'm gonna get into my jar and pour the mixture of honey and water. It's already almost a room temperature. So what we're gonna do is, I wanna wait maybe another half an hour, and then I'm gonna add the yeast because you wanna make sure that it's warm, and that it's not warm, that could kill the yeast. So we have to be careful. Let me put my big fennel in here. a nice garland. This is one gallon. If you notice, I left a little bit because you want to have a little, little uh, breathing, not too suffocating when you do it. I like, I like sometimes to put a little more. Actually, just a little more will be fine. Let's see. Okay. And that's it now. We're done. So now we have to wait. Just a, yeah, it's a, it's a very, very lukewarm. So I'm gonna wait just a half an hour and just let them, now because we are in the garage, 
I'm going to just cover this like this. So nothing goes in. I don't want any impurity in there, you know? Everything is disinfected already. Okay, so I will be back probably in an half an hour. So, and we're gonna put the yeast in it. We're gonna close it up, put the airlock on it, and it's gonna be beautiful. I'll see you soon. Okay, so the honey now, the wood and the honey are room temperature. So I'm gonna put the yeast. This is a wine yeast to make the wine with this. You can make this too. All right, so let's pour the yeast in it. And then tomorrow, Put this on it. I put half a bag of yeast. And now we're gonna let it sit and see what happened tomorrow. Tomorrow, by tomorrow, the yeast should start working and it should be, it should, the, the fermentation will start. So, with that, I'm gonna say, I'll see you tomorrow. Arrivederci. We'll check it tomorrow. Ciao a tutti. So I have the strawberry, that uh, strawberry wine, probably another day. And then I'm gonna pass into another container to finish the, uh, you see still the frothy. You have to shake this every, every day. I do it twice a day. And the mead wine that I made, uh, it's, uh, I can hear it. I put it, my ear closed and it's a 12 hour later. And you know, the fermentation started um, but uh, probably it's gonna take about two months for that to, to be completely done. So I'm gonna leave it in there and I'll come back to you guys. Uh, when this is done, I'm going to uh, show you how it tastes, you know, we do the tasting. So that's gonna be another video because uh, that is gonna take too long. You guys are gonna wait too long for this. Okay, so with that set, thank you for watching me and uh, please like and subscribe to my channel, it's very important to me. And uh, I will uh, get back to you with the tasting of the uh, meat once it's done, if it's good, <laughs> of course. All right, guys, thank you. Bye bye.